Thanks for spending your night with us. Coming up tomorrow, we're celebrating Valentine's Day at Crush, a heartbreak bar in Chicago. We cannot wait to take you there. And Second City Chorus is performing live in Studio 2. One more thing before we go, though, we have another GDS Weekly Teacher Check-In. Tonight, we're talking with Natalie Wooden. She teaches choir at Rockford Christian. Hey, Natalie, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, too. So how long have you been teaching a choir at Rockford Christian, and how did you decide this was the career you wanted? Um, so, you know, it's actually my first year here teaching, so it's very exciting. Um, a lot of things that I'm learning, and I've been involved in the fine arts for quite a few years. Um, this job kind of came up because my husband was actually becoming the band teacher, and they needed a choir person, so here I am. <laughs> So what is your day-to-day -day like? Um, so I have three classes that I teach in total. I have a high school choir that I teach. I teach a middle school choir. And then I also have a general fifth and sixth grade music class that I teach. And we work on all different things of music, singing. We also do in our general music class, we do bucket drums, boom whackers. Uh, we just finished up with a musical genre unit. So it's very fun. It's very energetic. The kids are really great and the staff are super, super amazing here. So it's very fast paced, which I like. It keeps my day going really quickly, um, but it's, it's a super fun environment and um, I really enjoy it. So how do you decide which songs your students are gonna learn? Oh, you know, that's a really good question. Um, I have to say it's a lot of collaboration between the students and I. Um, we talk about, you know, what the concerts are going, what upcoming concerts we have, um, kind of the themes. So like we have our jazz concert that's coming up and then we also have a pops concert that's coming up basically within the same time frame of <laughs> two weeks. So it's really crazy. Um, but I ask the students kind of like what they're really interested in and then we pick music together. So there'll be some things oh, that I pick and some things that they pick. See, that's so fun. When I was in choir, when I was younger, I felt like we always sang, you know, like kind of boring songs, not songs <laughs> that we would know already or like right? we heard on the radio, just like these choir songs. So it's, it's so cool to hear that that's not quite the case anymore. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I think that there's a lot of collaboration needed. I think that sometimes, like, I would say people have like a very stereotypical idea of what choir is like, but I think it's changed a lot over the years. So it's nice to see that there's like a lot of acapella pieces yeah. and that there's like a lot of, uh, you know, classical or there's more modern pieces and contemporary pieces. So it's nice to see it change over the years and it's really fun to see that. For sure. Is there a song that you have had your students perform in the past that really stands out to you? Like that was the coolest experience ever to hear them all come together on that? Oh my gosh. Um, we, so when I was in high school, I did my senior year, I did a student directing class um, and we performed that song. I had to teach the freshman choir to do it. And then this past fall, we performed it and it was like oh. kind of like a deja vu <laughs> moment, but it was also like super heartwarming to be like, wow, like I remember when I did this four years ago yeah. and now I'm doing it again four years later with my own choir. It's oh. like such a surreal experience. It really is. Natalie, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. For sure. If you know a teacher we should check in with, send us an email anytime. Let us know all about that teacher. You can email us at gds at fox39.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.